My video for August 13th, 2019 is entitled, The Boogeyman Phrase, Conspiracy Theory. This is video number 3176. From the Zero, Zero Hedge website in their article about how the CIA created the phrase conspiracy theory. Quote, conspiracy theorists used to be accepted as normal. Democracy and free market capitalism were founded on conspiracy theories. The Magna Carta, the Constitution, and Declaration of Independence and other founding Western documents were based on conspiracy theories. Greek democracy and free market capitalism were also based on conspiracy theories, end quote. From my vantage point, based on decades of exploring alternative viewpoints, I attribute the current system to the most heinous conspiracy ever unleashed on humanity. Of course, that conspiracy is presented as the accepted norm, while alternative viewpoint, points of view, rather, get the label used derogatorily. Again, most everything in our world is inverted. Lies are taught as true, and war is presented as a pathway to peace. Will the boogeymen be unveiled? Will humanity be set free from this deception and all the terrors to which it has inevitably led us? <laughs> oh, every day I struggle trying to come up with fresh topics, and I'm appreciative of some of the things that I subscribe to that provide me food for thought uh, and information that I can use as the nucleus of uh, my next video. And that's what I'm doing right now for the 13th of August. Uh, I was taught how wonderful as being educated in the United States in the 50s and, and uh, up to the mid 60s, uh, I was taught that the United States established its independence from England because of the Declaration of Independence, because of the U.S. Constitution, because our uh, founding fathers were patriots that wanted freedom from England. <laughs> but of course, the English went through their own uh, revolution, if you will, of ideal uh, or ideological revolution. They went through that with the formation of the Magna Carta, where the people, certain individuals among the people, stood up to the uh, crown or the elite class. And this struggle between the people and this elite class that thinks that they are supposed to be in charge of everyone else has been ongoing for eons. In fact, as it says, it, uh, it goes back to Socrates and Aristotle and some of the, the Greek uh, thinkers uh, of a, you know, a few th two to three thousand years ago. You know, this is not something new. It's been ongoing on planet Earth virtually the entire history that we're familiar with, the entire segment of history that we call the present millennials, and there's, you know, six or seven of them, uh, and, uh, and humans continue to ask the question, or at least thinkers among us do, who am I? Why am I here? What's the purpose for all this madness, all this insanity of individuals claiming that they are superior to everyone else. The thing that is the de-equalizer, if you will, that wants an unlevel playing field where there is an elite class and everyone else. And the elite class doesn't mind using certain segments of the everyone else for their agenda. And when they have used them for their agenda, they are easily dis. Uh, dis uh, yeah, eliminated or put put to the side 
uh, discredited is the word that I was trying to come up with and I couldn't think of it. Uh, but this whole thing has been going on and on and on throughout human history. It's not something that we have to deal with in the 21st century only. Are there indications that in the 21st century people are waking up? Well, yeah, look at, the, look at some of the stuff that's going on. Look at these alleged mass shootings. And I, and I say they're alleged, I don't say, I'm not saying that they aren't real. I'm saying they are programmed. The people that do these things are programmed. They are running a play, they're running a program that creates dissension and uh, dissonance and has an, an, a, an agenda, a purpose of maintaining the status quo because those that are in the positions of authority, so-called, want to maintain their control grid. They don't want to be uh, informed upon. So everything that they, uh, that stands as a threat to those who are the real terrorists, that is the leaders, everything that stands as a threat to them is labeled a conspiracy theory. That's the new, the new catchphrase, if you will. But as, uh, as it was pointed out in that article, much of our Western culture was based on cons those that conspired against the status quo. When are we in this day and age of 2019, uh, when are we going to wake up and start claiming our natural rights and saying to the people that have that try to take them away from us? The mo and it's bear in mind who who is the enemy? Spiritually, it's fallen angels, as I see it. But politically, it is the established order, and especially the financial system of the world, the House of Rothschild, oh, whatever label you want to put on it, those that have controlled the money have been the demonic element that has created all the wars, created all the human suffering. Now, of course, human ignorance has played into that as well, when people just simply didn't know any better and uh, they were protecting their turf, if you will, or their kinfolk. Uh, that is natural for all beings to protect those that they love and are connected to uh, when attacked from an outside influence, whether it's an animal or other human beings. I don't think that that is an abnormal thing at all, to be self-protective. But the system is a lying system. Folks, if you haven't gotten it yet, Mainstream media is almost 100% lies, almost 100% lies. CNN being about the worst of all of them, but none of them are good, not even Fox, which has a mix maybe, and has more alternative viewpoints put, put in to the dialogue to, for, to become fair and balanced, or at least to prove present that perception of being fair and balanced. Uh, but there's nothing fair and there's nothing balanced about the world that we live in. We live in an imbalanced culture called human culture, but it's not human culture. It's fallen angel culture. It's deceptive culture. It's malevolent culture. It's dog eat dog culture. And the things that are sane, like, making peace and learning to listen to one another are derided as conspiracies. Because of course, if we start talking to one another, we'll start realizing that we're basically a lot more similar than we are different, regardless of race or religion or all of the things that have been used to divide us. Will we have a real awakening? I certainly hope so. And that's not a conspiracy. Thank you. Namaste.